gaming culture, you know. I think it has a real bad influence on internet forums and on YouTube and elsewhere. The idea of competition versus cooperation. Um, you see it all over the internet and it's infested real life. We're all supposed to be um, in competition with each other and getting over on each other. and It's very sad. It's uh, a little demoralizing at times because I don't know how to counteract the effects of that. Uh, because I know it's not healthy. Anyway, so this uh, business of a high gotcha kind of thing, you know. Ooh, I got a little tiny piece of information on you, and I'm going to use it. Uh, I'm going to weaponize it. I'm going to use it against you as evidence that you're a fake, or you're trying to get over on people, or you're trying to hurt people, or whatever, you know. Um, I think that that's because they aren't very smart. They're very reactive because they're traumatized and they're not even aware of the damn trauma. So they don't take a minute to take a beat to think, well, wait a minute, I'm, I'm assuming that this person is X, Y, and Z, but I don't really have any critical evidence that that's true. So maybe I ought to just like chill out and investigate further before I draw any conclusions. And I understand all this, you know, I'm... I'm from a background of trauma. I understand why people would be that way. Um, it doesn't excuse the fact that they're intentionally inflicting harm on other people that they don't even know. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't excuse it at all. But I understand how they got that way. So what do we do to change that? And how do we not allow ourselves to end up... Um, hurt by it, either personally offended or um, actually hurt by the damaging behaviors these people have, like the whole um, uh, revealing people's documents online. That they, they really don't exhibit any ethical behavior because they're vigilantes. So that's the next step in my thing is how do we protect ourselves so we can continue to do the work that we're doing and when one of these damaged people wanders in and starts making all kinds of accusations we are prepared and able to continue doing what we need to do without letting their damage completely disrupt us they really think that they proving how smart they are by exposing other people and of course anything to expose but they think they've really I've got the goods on you, and I just kind of go, what? <coughs> so how do we deal with that? Because it's emotionally disruptive, um, and it is painful. It's very painful to have somebody accuse a person of something they didn't do. You know, my mother, I think she was very paranoid. Um, I went through my whole childhood with her accusing me of things I didn't do and if I tried to explain I was told I was back talking and that was just the excuse she needed to beat me you know which is what she wanted she wanted to hurt me physically wanted to cause as much pain to me as she possibly could and actual physical damage to me that was her intention and just for me to try to defend myself was all the evidence she needed so that she had an excuse to beat me because she needed to physically relieve whatever the um, chemicals are that get in the body when one is um, angry, you know, the uh, adrenaline and is it cortisol and whatever. She actually phys needed physical relief and the only way she thought she could get it was by beating me. She'd wake me up in the middle of the night to beat me because she'd been lying in bed obsessing about these nasty stories she told herself about me that weren't true, weren't at all based in reality, but she'd stay up all night and then she'd come in and say, I'm going to be sleepy at work tomorrow because you stay awake all night worrying. I would be waked in my head and no idea what was going on. So I couldn't, I didn't even get any peace when I was sleeping. So how do we protect ourselves from their dysfunction? We can't let them hurt us. We can't let them 
cause us damage and any more destruction. I mean, we're trauma survivors too. survivors do. You know, we're trying really hard to live uh, responsible, ethical lives. And we've got people around us who actually really do want to see us come to harm. So how do we protect ourselves? Because a lot of us, I mean, we don't have much money and we don't have much access to resources or anything. So what do we do? Not just psychologically, but in every other way so that people who mean us harm can't accomplish their goal ju just because they need some sort of ego gratification to try to feel better about themselves because they feel so in the loop of you got to be a victim, you got to be a perpetrator, I got to get one over on you before you get one over on me. Uh, I would say paranoia, but I don't like to diagnose things, but it sure seems like that, automatically assuming somebody's up to no good and coming up with excuses to justify that conclusion and don't bother trying to explain reality to them because they'll, if you try to explain, they'll say, well, you're awfully defensive. See what I mean? So what do we do to protect ourselves? That's all. Okay, I'm going to go back and look at my pig. I know those pigs are spawning up there. There's no way. They're, there's no way they're climbing up there from the outside. They are spawning up there. You know what else? Bad guys spawn in bushes. So be careful if you plant bushes inside your house. You may have let the enemy in your house. Speaking of paranoid. I wonder if these games are really influencing the way people think about reality. I just wonder.